Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and I'm really happy to bring you another Easy Beginner project. This is the Easy Beginner Shell Baby Blanket. Um, it looks really complicated, but I promise you it is not. If you know how to crochet the chain stitch and the double crochet, you have all the tools that you need to dive right in. Um, and for this project, I will show you in a second what yarn I use, but let me tell you, it's really fun to work with. It's self-striping, which is a fancy way of saying you don't have to change colors. The yarn does all the work for you. Okay, so grab your hook. Oh, and I'll show you what Shai's hook in just a second. So go ahead and get your things together and check this out. Um, what are you going to need? I'm going to be using Red Heart Super Saver Stripes because the yarn color is going to make it very interesting with the shells and the color change, and you'll see that in a little bit. I'm also recommending a size I or 9 or 5.50 millimeter crochet hook. And as always, I think it's a good idea to always have a yarn needle on hand and a pair of scissors when you have to um, trim and hide those loose ends. The first thing we're going to do is make our starting chain and I recommend that you crochet a little on the looser side for this chain. We begin with our slip knot. Go ahead and pull that nice and tight but not so tight around here. And I want you to kind of loosely chain 109 chains. And one way I like to crochet these as I've said in some of my other videos is I go in increments of five because that way if someone interrupts me, um, I'm able to kind of keep a better track of how many chains I have. So I have 10 there, and then five more makes 15, and that's 20, and so on. So go ahead and chain all the way to 109. Now that we've completed our chain of 109 chains, we're going to work in the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, and we're gonna work two double crochets into that space. One and two, okay, right into that same space there, that same chain. Now we're gonna skip two chains, one, two, and we're gonna single crochet in the next chain. Pull through all those strands, there we go. After that, we're going to skip two, one, two more chains, and we're going to work five double crochets in the next stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. If you want to stop and count, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five double crochets. Now we're going to skip two more chains. One, two, and we're going to single crochet in the next chain. And that is pretty much a repeat all the way across. I'll go ahead and do that with you a couple more times. Skip the next two. One, two, and we're going to work five double crochets in that next stitch. That's four and five. Skip two stitches, one, two, and then single crochet in that next stitch. Let's stop and take a look at what we have here. So we have the beginning here where you're going to have three shells and that which is really the chain and the two more double crochets that that makes up like a half a shell I guess you could say and then the rest are going to have five stitches across so go ahead and work that I'll do one more with you skip two five double crochets and the next stitch and it is a lot of fun as, as you work, if you decide to work with the variegated yarn, it's a lot of fun for me at least to see how the colors are going to change. And, and as we as we come back, as we come back through to the other rows where we work in between, we're going to see different colors forming. It's, it's a lot of fun to see that. And I think it's also a lot of fun for the baby 
um, studying the blanket once we, it's completed and, you know, it's something that they have. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five double crochets in that one space, and then we skip two chains and then single crochet in the next stitch. So go ahead and work that all the way across. I'll show you how to work the end of this row. Okay, I have worked the shell stitch and single crochet all the way across those 109 stitches and that brings me to the end where I have worked five double crochets in the next chain and I'm going to skip two and we're going to work a single crochet in that last stitch just like that. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three and we're going to turn and in this single crochet space here that we just made we're going to work two double crochets, one, two, remember this chain is going to be acting as a double crochet throughout, and now working in the shells that we made, we're going to count one, two, three, that middle double crochet, which is the third double crochet, we're just going to single crochet in the top just like that. Now we're going to skip the next two double crochets, one, two, and then the single crochet there, we're going to work five double crochets right in the middle of that, all in the same place. Three, four, five. So we have five double crochets worked in that single crochet. Skip the next one, two double crochets, single crochet in that third double crochet of the chain from row one. Then we we'll skip two more, one, two, and in that single crochet there, we're going to crochet five more double crochets. And this is pretty much the pattern for the entire project. I'm going to do a couple more with you. One, two, three, four, five. And this is where it gets interesting. The color is starting to change a little bit. Skip the next two, one, two, single crochet in the top of that shell, and then skip two more and double crochet in that single crochet. Five double crochets. It's four and five. And what's going to be interesting is as the colors keep changing, I believe it's going to be a little bit different every row. Now we're going to skip two more. One, two double crochets, single crochet in the top, and again, I'm just repeating, skip two and five double crochets again in that single crochet. So we're going to work this all the way across. And this is the row that you are going to be repeating until the blanket measures approximately 30 inches or until it reaches the desired length that you would like for your baby blanket. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that all the way across. I've worked this all the way across, and when you get to the last half shell, you're going to skip two stitches, and in this top turning chain, you're going to work a single crochet in the top of that chain three. Now we're going to chain three, and we're going to repeat row two again. Two double crochets in that first single crochet, and this is what you're going to do. As I said before, um, to begin every row, and I just showed you how to end every row at the end of round two. I'm sorry, row two. Skip two stitches, single crochet in the top of that shell, skip two more double crochets, five double crochets in that single crochet from the previous row. Make sure we get through all the strands. Okay, one, two, three, four, five double crochets. Now we're going to skip two, single crochet in the top, skip two more, and then five more double crochets. And this is pretty much the entire pattern. I will show you at the end how you can do an optional shell trim around the blanket. But for now, what we need to do is just to continue this pattern until the blanket measures the length that you would like it to measure. I'm going to be going for approximately 30 inches.
I have now worked back and forth until the blanket is approximately 35 inches long. Um, for the record, it's 30 inches wide. So I, I've decided that I am done, that I, I'm happy with this length, and I'm going to end my project simply by giving it a chain, pulling it tightly, and let me find my scissors, and I'm going to clip a strand. So I am done with my crocheting, but I am not completely done with this project because now I need to do something pretty important, and that is hide my loose strands. I'm going to show you how to do one of them, and you can go ahead and do this with all of the strands on your blanket. Now, since this pattern is reversible, um, in other words, both you know, either side can be the front side. Um, you're going to have to be especially careful to hide these colors within the blanket so that it's not seen on either side. So I'm going to just come into this um, single crochet like this. And then I'm going to carefully work down into this little cluster here. Now there's not a particular... Um, rule to how to do this at the bottom line is you want to try to hide these strands so that nobody can see them so as I put this in here you can see that you can't see the needle so therefore you're not going to be able to see the thread but as long as I hide it under a common color it should be fine and I think that's going to be enough to hold this so I clip very carefully not to clip the stitches but I want to clip that close so that it doesn't show any longer and so there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the entire size. Well, I hope you enjoyed crocheting your Easy Beginner Shell Baby Blanket. I did want to show you one more thing. If you were working on your blanket and you're not sure how long to make it, and let's say you wanted to just make it a square, a really easy way to do that is just to take one corner and fold it over. I have to fold it to the other corner and if you see there's material here then you know that it's at least a square and I went ahead and decided to make mine just a little bit longer but you know when it comes to the length of the blanket you are the designer you do what you like well anyway I hope you enjoyed this project um, please subscribe to my channel just hit that little subscribe button up in the corner and you won't miss any more either you know easy beginner or even some intermediate projects well God bless bye bye